New at 6, it's the hotly contested next step in the historic redevelopment of the Lower Hill. Pittsburgh Penguins hoping to secure a yes vote tomorrow to develop a proposed live music venue. The vote comes just a day after a big job fair in the Hill District intended to introduce job seeking residents to the trades. KDK's Megan Schiller joining us now to explain how the very people applying for apprenticeships today could end up on the construction sites just a few feet away. The big vote tomorrow is about what happens with the land at the corner of Logan and Wiley. Right now, there's a lot of cars parked there, but we will know tomorrow about the balance between development and community benefits. Some say the community benefits are there with the development of every single block of property, but others say they want more than a verbal agreement that the community is going to benefit. This could soon look like this, a new music venue and parking garage at the old site of the Civic Arena, and we'll know more Thursday. I'm going to say that because Councilman Lavelle, who is our city councilman, he knows the ins and outs of this project and he has expressed that he will support, I feel confident that he will support. But I also feel confident that the entire URA will support because we've been doing what we said we would do. But Marimba Malayan says the developer Buccina Pollen Group has not fulfilled some promises to the community. The Hill CDC continues to advocate in final hours to ensure protections for the Hill District community. As of this hour, there are still a number of outstanding conditions that need to be fulfilled. More will be available tomorrow after the vote. Dr. Kimberly Ellis says her employer, the developer, will make good on its promises. When it comes to workforce development, we're here. And we have actually chose the date we, we, we thought we were going to be well past the URA vote, so this was not in alignment with let's try to impress the URA the day before we vote. Job seekers like these two young men took time to introduce themselves to leaders from all the local trade unions. We both came off of carpentry. Um, we like real hands-on work stuff, so... Yeah, we came and talked to a couple people, got a couple connections. No matter the result of Thursday's vote, the two see the construction happening around them and they want to get to work. She's real supportive of my mom, my brother, friends. I told them all about it. They really believe in me, so that makes me believe in myself much more. My mom's real proud. My father's very proud, and um, I'm just trying to make them very happy and proud of me. In the Hill District, Megan Schiller, KDK News.